Hey guys, last time we were on, we had just finished episode 1, and now we're going to start episode 2. I totally forgot to do this whole checklist thing from last episode, so we're just going to quickly do that. I reported Nathan, that's majority, confronted Victoria. Um, so far I've been doing majors, but you took a photo of... David, Russ, and Kate. I'm in the minority for that one. Uh, take it, staying hidden stays. So apparently I'm part of the majority of staying hidden from David. Oh, that's that. Um, minority for let it, you let David draw your portrait. Pretty cool. Didn't sign Miss Grant's petition. I did sign it originally, but then I did sign it because we do need some security, especially if Nathan's running around with a gun. Um, we apparently we did help Alyssa. You erased, uh, erased the insults on Keith's slate. I guess that's the board right outside of our dorm room. Um, warned. Uh, you watered the, the your plant. Unlike Max, where we used coffee or an energy drink to fill it, that's what happened. Uh, didn't touch Diane's pregnancy test. Yeah, no, no, no need to touch that. Yeah, uh, you didn't touch Victoria's phone. Or photos. I did. Pretty sure I did, but I guess something got messed up. You didn't write on a dirty RG. I didn't write on it, so I didn't see it. But I did backtrack and did that. So I did write on the dirt on the RV, and I got that trophy. So there's that. I did save a bird. I want it to have some consequences later. Uh, you wrote Chloe's Snow Globe. That was an accident. Minority did that. Surprising. And Minority saved the bird. Um, I just tried it to try it. You didn't leave any evidence. Yeah, we. you want to make sure you don't leave any evidence. Uh, you read David's files. Of course I read it. Bad if I didn't. And here's episode two. Out of time. Good to know. Let's continue. That is one way to start episode two. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Film Whoa. little pieces what of the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren. Me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. News.
Tells me to get up, but I don't wanna. Let's me put my headphones back on. Eh, I'm getting up. Oh right, door room. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. D nine. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry, I am so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Let's just read some of this stuff. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Yeah, let's turn off that music before I get a uh, another copyright. I don't mind having it, but I... Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Yeah. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Wait, there was more. That's the only... That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Sticky nose. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Yeah, this is all about the... What you call it? I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? No. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Might come in later. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Whew. I could get lost doing time travel research. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Great. Hey, Max, the uh, doctor in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links. But, and without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as they come in to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation of your newfound chrono interest. Time uh, the Time Machine, the 1960 version, fun early steampunk sci-fi, and Murloc's Face Melt. Primer, lo-fi time tra travelers in Dallas, brilliant, I'll explain it to you after you watch it. Time tra after time, H.D. Wells uses his time machine to chase Jack the Ripper to modern day San Francisco, super cool and clever. Pump of fiction, serious, uh, switching between tr timelines, giving a good basic outline of re relativity plus Uma. Somewhere in time, big cult around this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Matson, the best kind of chick flick. You'll cry like a baby. I did. Time slip. You can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick, or we can watch it together. Sony Ch Chiba and his soldiers end up back in the samurai days, basically tanks versus ninjas. Tancock. Jean Clyde Van Dema does splits on a kitchen counter in his underwear. Need to say more? Need I say more? 
that's all the time I have now, and I do have actual quantum fixes, physics to plow through. I do not, and not your fun Back to the Future homework that I never get. Now that I've just discovered the art of science, I expect you to see, I expect to see you in the lab more as I could always use a new partner in time. Get it? Don't hit. I'm leaving. Doctor Who? This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Chrono nuts. <sighs> Time travel is not just science fiction. The history has recorded numerous cases of musicians who have managed to bend all rules of the space-time continuum. The present dilemma is that those who can navigate temporal dimensions are rightly... They want them to reveal themselves due to the impact of public and government security. Nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build up in top secret their own version of a time machine. Thankfully, this is not a case where infinite renewal equals control of the infinite. Or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the Chrono Nuts enter the picture. And it, it's clear based on the vast scientific information that time travel is only applicable on a person by person basis, not driven nor dominated by any one particular physics or their dynamic calibration. For this reason, I have created a formula where past, present, and Future travelers can share tips, ideas, and experiences to guide those navigating the rocky seat of time. Hint our moniker, the Chrononuts. Brave solitary adventures on a infinite voyage. Register within the form and step into our into a river of time without fear of being swept away. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Welcome to the wonderful world of wormholes, a term lazily over exploited in science and science fiction for the vis visual a wormhole like a visible tunnel from one end to another of uh, space to another. Thus, if wormholes exist, time travel is possible and probable. The human trick is to discover the means and means or device needed to link the traverse both hands, blah, blah, blah. I would okay. say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Dana Ward, Ghoul's Day Halloween Party. Bring it Blackwell's blood suckers. Next to prom night and big ball, my favorite time of year is the annual Ghoul Day's Blackwell Halloween Party. Picture me... Busting a thriller zombie move. Christopher Wells has given us om almost whatever to decorate the halls, gym within halls and gym within taste and safety. So I want every student to be scared shitless when they walk to their classes. I know y'all have tons of homework, as do I, but let's make this Halloween at Blackwell's we'll never forget. The decoration committee meets in the gym at 3.30 next Wednesday, October 10th. This gives you plenty of time not have any excuses for flaking, and if you don't show up to help hunt the halls, the boogeymon will look at you. Let's show Black Lowell our Google Power present screams Donna of the Dead. And that's a go. Half of our time already, and we still haven't finished the room. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Yeah, Drink up. Water. It's got electrolytes. I might as well keep the plant fed. Apparently, that has consequences. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. 
I think I watched them all last night. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Meanwhile, my guitar gently sleeps. I want to continue. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Um. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Uh oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Yeesh. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Uh, before we do that, let's look in the mirror. Oh, wait, we got something right here. Read. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. so much you there hippie what about that fucking snow how what about your new power or have you gone back in time and figured it out I can't go back that far smart ass too bad you can't go back and warn me about that joint if you thought saving your life was more important I thought saving your life was more important Boom. Max delivers a fatal, fatal blow, final blow, whatever. I didn't think I was trying to say fatal for a second. But for reals, we need to talk. I need you standing with me on this. Or eat a ass buster breakfast at Two Whales Pie Tree. Sold. It's good to have minions. Got a bail master. Breakfast is a is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji? Maybe at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Don't be late or I'll... Or I'll know time is not on your side. After all, you did let Stepdorf bust me on my way. You are evil 40 minutes or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no t Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Just a journal. Okay, let's go. Please do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, yeah. of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. We're gonna make Rachel this a long looks like one. She's staring at me. I want to make sure there's uh we get everything. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? No brook here. Probably already out in class. Fine, I, I won't disturb you. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. The marks of Satan. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Uh, I don't need to enter my room. 
I think I'll be way too scared to go. They live. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. Wake up, Max. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Get a wife and live. Damn. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. Murder. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. I knocked again. Go away! People sleeping! Clear. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Kate's video for proof. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Please respect whatever. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Yeah, why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. So much. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. True. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. <laughs> I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. Agreed. Well, the mirror works. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. See what you've been doing. If I help Alyssa, I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Max, I don't want to talk. Comprendo? Yeesh. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. 20 bucks for a bike. Thanks for the warning. 
Okay, got some shower time. Um, should I ask no one again? Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Yeah, I kind of feel bad not, for not helping, but I wanted to get that picture for evidence. I'm good to flow. Thanks. And not to get it on his bad side. Otter power? I'm so not there. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Hold to another universe. This is the second time I've seen that. After my shower, I'll bring her book back and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. Maybe sure. just talking with a friend will help her feel better? Rachel is, okay, that's Victoria. Out of order, sorry. Who cares, you? Okay, I guess it's the uh, one we have to use. This doesn't seem right. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> okay. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Let's see what happens if I can actually rewind. That's all you can do. Stop before you hurt yourself. Just hoping I can get back to Warren. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Oops, I forgot about the water pressure. 
Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Okay, so I did something, I guess. Um, I'll leave, I guess. That's what I say to do. Turn to go get that down. She's by herself now. Let's go talk to her. Well, Here's Brooke, her now. looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, mm. I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Mac. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I... I'm serious. Even meteorol... No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Yeah, that's all that. Okay. Where's Kate's room again? Kate's room. See if I can bother Welcome her. Welcome to Black Hill. Max, Kate. Okay, point. Uh, two, two. Which is right there next to the bathroom. Right, yep, Kate's room. Let's go get the move. Let's go get her thing back. Bring back what she wants. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Yay. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Yeah, so it's my head next to a dead goat. Nobody messes with me, Bianch. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And nothing here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. My powers have protected me. Hand table. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. I need to get dressed before I go there. Yeah. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Clothing, I guess, is right here. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. 
As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do. I, I want to see what that private number is. Okay, one's for mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's years. Blah blah blah. Let's have it in the morning. Uh, your principal's email. Hey, honey, I hope you don't forget the water to plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. Okay, so it's weird because I'm pretty sure we already talked about that. Say, Max, principal sent me an email saying you told some tall tales about Blackwell Honor Student. Is that true? The principal said it was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories call me asap so we can talk about this you have all the time in the world now let's just do this real quick and then we'll look at the private number kate you in there yes i'm here come in max very uh land room kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seems justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother... Oh god. One of those kind of parents. Where everything is reflected onto the Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Pretty sure you're gonna say it was pretty annoying. Maybe Kate admit. has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. I'd say. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? If she can't look at herself? Can't remove it. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended is not. Did not. John 13. <laughs> so these, 18. <laughs> See? Kate, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, Pops. Kate, Miss Kate March, Blackwell Academy, blah, blah, blah. With this one. Oh, she has I had no funny. idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Well, why would you? That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Take a picture. It'll last longer. Trophy? Trophy! Sorry, hey, I'm, I'm trying to use my powers for good. And you have been. And I hope I have been. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Kate, Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a rebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I 
will pray with my church for your soul and our soul to have saved from eternal hellfire. Like a Jez Jezebel? Whatever. I was reading it in cursive. It's not that. Anti Marsh. That's what I. That's the person. Okay. Yeesh. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Hey, time to look at her Poor now. Kate, she doesn't look good. Um, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I wanted proof. I wanted proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall <laughs> is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So... Who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here, near my bag. Book. <laughs> so, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? I want to say go to the police, but look for proof. I'm going to say it's one of those answers where I don't know if I can backtrack. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. 
That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Uh, that hurt. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. I agree with that, but I want to backtrack. And I want to see what the other option gives. Kate, I didn't. I wanted. I thought he was dead. Kate, I actually do. Well, he's a total. You know, I want to know what about the video. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. So why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted, ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take- Nathan Prescott? He was being nice for a change when he- He's the opposite. All I recall- Go on. Somebody was- And? That's all I remember. So, who took the video of- I have no idea. Jesus- how do I get a viral video taken down? Kate? So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate, anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? I just wanted to see this answer. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but... We're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. 
after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Wait, I got a text threat? Oh, right, the private number. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off and I'm gonna actually have... I'm gonna back it up. I'm not... I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna tell her to hold off on proof. And... If you do... Yeah, it's not what I need, but it's what I have to do. Okay, let's see what this private number is. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know you're... I know where you sleep, but not duh. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Okay. Oh, something from Chloe. Max, food. Two whales. You see you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yeah, breakfast. No emoji. Well. We are almost at an hour, so I'm going to end it here, guys. I'll see you all next time. Peace.